Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am going to do an easy, simple craft today using number 10 cans. Don't throw your number 10 cans out. Save them because there's so many little neat projects we can do with our number 10 cans without throwing them in the landfill. And we can also make neat crafts with them for our house, for as a present. You know, there's times where, you know, writing out to the store just to buy a present for somebody isn't necessarily what we want to do, but we want to do a craft, something we can stamp that said, we made it ourselves to give to other people. Or like I said, maybe your home. So easy to do. All we're going to use is some scrapbook paper, some floral, some tape, some Mod Podge, and we're going to make this neat craft. So come along with me and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So out of our three cans, we're going to remove the bottoms out of two of them. We're gonna get a can opener, take the bottoms out, and we're gonna keep the bottom in one of them. Now this is gonna be our base. Now I'm going to use the Easy 6000 glue, and we're gonna glue these in a stack. So we're just gonna go around. You can use whatever you want. I've even used shoe glue when I've done this, shoe goo. Um, the Easy 6000 works great. And we're just going to put a bead around our can so we can stack these. like I said there's seams in the back here this was going to be our back we're going to go ahead and we're going to let this dry and I'll get back to you once it's dried this is what we are going to make and you question what is this I've had this for over six years I had this in our fifth wheel and it is a neat thing to store toilet paper in your bathroom next to your toilet that is decorative cute and you can make it any which way you want and it holds up to five rolls of the palm toilet paper so there's a craft that you can make now mine is getting older and like i said my flowers are falling off i've changed my shower curtain and i wanted to give this a little bit of an update so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of our toilet paper rolls And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my existing flowers. I'm going to try to save what I have because if we're going to recycle, we might as well use these for something else. Maybe we can use them in the decorations of our new can. We're going to go ahead and get these peeled off and then I'll get to you with the next step. So what we're going to do is whatever color paper that you're going to use as scrapbook paper, you're going to still have seams that show because we're only going to put the paper on the inside. So make sure your paint is going to match your scrapbook paper. We don't have to do the entire can because we are going to put the paper over the can. We're just covering the seams and we're also going to shoot some of the inside. We want it the inside, at least the upper part, painted so that if there's not a roll of toilet paper in there, it looks finished, done. So our paint is drying on our can set. So we've got our flowers off. Now I use the large scrapbook papers. You can purchase them for give or take 79 cents a piece and you're gonna need six of them. And the reason why is because one is not gonna completely go around. So you're gonna to have to use two per can. And all we're going to do is we're gonna get our Mod Podge. So we're gonna coat this with our Mod Podge and we're going to stick our paper to our Mod Podge. The beauty about Mod Podge is it will dry clear, so you don't have to be completely precise on what you're doing. So we're going to stick our papers on now. We have the first piece on and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a line of the Mod Podge 
on top of the paper because we want it to be able to stick to that paper when we once we get this second piece on. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over the top where I put the Mod Podge and we're going to stick this next piece on. And then I'm going to put a bead of the Mod Podge over the top of the paper again so we can have it stick too. All right, that's our first set. And then, you know, I just kind of go in with my fingers and make sure everything's smooth if something's sticking up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of the layers here. Now that we have all of our paper on, we're going to put another layer of the Mod Podge on top of our layer so we can seal this completely. about this project is you do not have to be perfect with it even if you've got wrinkles things like that in the paper with the Mod Podge when it dries it'll be fine some of the glue may be a little excess so you can just push it out so now that I've got the Mod Podge on I'm just gonna let this one dry so I've got the scrapbook paper on and then I also use my Mod Podge on the outside. And so you see some of the wrinkles, a lot of that you won't see once it's dry. Um, you just pretty much have to flatten out as much as you possibly can. I'm going to take ribbon and I'm going to put it around each section. Now it's strictly up to you on how you want to decorate your project. And as we go, you can't see the brick pattern, but as we go, you'll see the Mod Podge drawing and it'll start showing through. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of my E6000 glue and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of both. I want the E6000 because it does hold much longer, but I'm also going to get my hot glue gun and put a few pieces in of the glue so that it will also stick quickly. So I'm gonna go, this is gonna be my back side here, and I'm gonna take this completely around. And I'm gonna put this around each section. So when I get done with it here, I'll move on to the next section. Got my ribbon on now and what we're going to do is I've got this one that I redid from for my bathroom had and redid this one so all we're going to do is I've got some flowers here pick them up you know you can get 50% off coupons at Hobby Lobby Joann's so if you're going to do a project like this definitely pick these up with the coupon because some of these florals can be expensive some of them $9 for a package. So if you can get a 50% off coupon, that's great. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put these on and we're gonna do whatever kind of pattern that you want. And I'm just going to slowly place flowers in a pattern down. So I've got four of these bigger flowers. So I want to be able to put a couple and then bring it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here
and I'll place the other one at the bottom. About there again. And then I'll put this one about at the bottom. And then once we get these in place, then we can kind of just go in with the rest of our flowers and fill in. A bigger one, let's call it on this side. I love art projects, they're fun. And I'll put, this is a focal. You know, really it is up to you of what you want to do for decorations. There's no right or wrong to this game. It's, uh, and especially when you're doing it for fun, don't try to be so perfect at it or you'll drive yourself nuts over it. But you want kind of groups of odd numbers. Also plan to have like dark and light mixed into it so you have some depth to it. So there you go, a neat little project to put toilet paper in, put them in your bathroom, just something fun that you can do and simple and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. If you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Have a blessed day.